Hi everyone, right. A lot of people think they're not creative and in improvisation, you really do need to be creative and you need to think of ideas and really you need to think of them incredibly quickly. So you need to think on the spot. And a lot of people when they're first trying out improvisation or even just refusing to try out improvisation, they have this idea that they are not creative. And I just, I found out this uh, really cool little test. It's really easy and I want to try it on you now, although it's not gonna work amazingly well because I'm recording it and I want you to answer back, but obviously I don't know what you're gonna say. So, <laughs> uh, but it's something I heard on the radio. Um, there's a guy who's written a book about it, um, this idea of being creative and he's being sort of general. It's not just about musically creative but it can really work for improvisation. So here's the test. What I want you to do is to think about what you did first thing in the morning when you got up and got out of bed, okay? So I want you to think about that moment and try to tell it back to me, okay? So what did you do when you got out of bed this morning? Go. Now, what's probably happening is that you're thinking about the actual reality of what happened in the morning. Now, what I'm going to do now is to twist that reality. So I'm going to say, no, you didn't, which means that what you've just said, let's say I got up, got out of bed, and I had my breakfast, which was Weetabix, and I'm saying, no, you didn't. Now you have to think of something else, which is not true, not reality, okay? So I want you to think of that, that new little idea. And then you go on to what you did after that. So now tell me what you did after you had your non-Weetabix. And now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. No, you didn't, right? So whatever you were trying to tell me there, I want you to now think of a different situation which is not true. So what we're doing each time for this, and you could perhaps try this when it's not a recorded video, uh, try it in real life with somebody, try it out on somebody, you know, a friend of yours, or get somebody to do it with you. What you're trying to do is to sort of change the idea of reality. So what actually happened was you got up, you had Weetabix, then you went to walk the dog. But I'm saying, no, you didn't. Okay, I got up and had uh, toast with jam on it, and then I went to the post office, okay? So, and what can happen is that you can, I mean, the, the guy who's done this book, he goes into it in a lot more depth and he talks about your answers being reflective of your sort of personality almost. So I've, t I've tried this with a few people and some of their responses have been very, very mundane or kind of particular or very sort of focused on um, other people's perception of what they've done or a kind of very very twisted reality so somebody didn't have Weetabix they had uh, a watermelon and then they went in a rocket and flew to the moon okay so you can have these sorts of really sort of wacky ideas if you like but really it's about the the twisting of reality and the ability to use that creative part of your brain so that you can think on the spot. Now, with the people I've tried this with, it's worked every time. I think it's a quite a simple exercise. And what it is doing is using that creative part of the brain to really, your brain is, is like a muscle that needs training. And if you think you're not creative, it probably means that the creative part of your brain does work, but you haven't used it so much. So then train it and keep training it and what you'll find is it will get stronger and stronger and then you will find that the ideas will just start flowing and you'll really enjoy this new creative you. So try it out and see if it helps when you improvise. Maybe you could do it so that you you start off playing on a certain chord or a, sort of, a certain situation, maybe you're playing a blues. Think about the usual stuff that you would do and then try to think no, you didn't. So the idea of just changing this reality, changing what you're used to doing 
and suddenly going into something completely different. So if you're playing a blues scale, switch to a pentatonic scale, or if you're playing, um, I don't know, if you're, if you're playing uh, very, very fast, then play very slow or leave a lot of space. You know, just do something that's radically different. This is something that I try out on, on a lot of students. It's just to use that creative part of the brain and to switch the ideas of, of what you can do on the spot, which is a huge part of improvisation. So have fun with that. Try out this little test and uh, let me know how you get on.